Hello, welcome to this video of me painting, hosted by me. I thought that would sound a lot more appealing. I'm sorry. So let's get to the business. While I am laying down color on this painting, I am going to let you know that I've realized something about myself after many moons of painting. I am such a slow painter. So I sped this video up quite a lot, as you can see, just to keep it at around 10 minutes, but this took me a few hours. So I've asked you guys before, do you rather sped up videos or shorten videos um, to real-time videos? And the majority of you have said sped up. But if you want access to a longer version of this so that you can see it and you have three hours to kill, message me and I will make that available if that's something that you're interested in. So as you can see, I'm just laying down the basic values right now, nothing too detailed. And pay no attention to the fact that I just painted the top of that coffee cup green, thinking it was a leaf, even though I sketched this five short minutes ago. Wow, Olivia, good job. I just can't tell you guys how excited I am to finally be painting this. I have wanted to paint this picture forever. We um, took this in Japan at the house we were staying at in Kyoto. And this cat is so near and dear to my heart. Her name is Omiata. And <laughs> we actually got into the habit of calling her Omiata-sama, which is like a very high honorific but the cat is 19 years old, okay? We need to give her something. Okay, getting back to the painting. Yeah, the reason you guys actually are here. So something that I've realized recently is that I need to work backwards better. And so if you noticed at the beginning of the video, I was really laying down color in weird places. Um, casting the warm tones where they would fall naturally. And in this particular area of the house, there wasn't a whole lot of natural lighting. In fact, uh, she had her back to the sun. So it was actually quite a dark picture to begin with. So I really wanted to still pick up some of the warmth that was coming in from the windows and make sure that I laid that down initially so that I remembered uh, not only where the light source was coming from, but where the warm tones were going to lie and kind of marking my shadows as I go as well. I really wanted this painting to look um, more like an illustration. So if you notice, um, even though Omiata is a black and white cat, I am picking up some blue and purple tones and laying that down for her fur because I just think it makes the painting look more interesting. If you are a kind, generous soul and also have impeccable taste, then Perhaps you've followed my YouTube channel in the past, in which I go on hour-long rants about people using too much water in their paintings, not knowing why they're blowing up in their face. I really can't stress this enough. Give your paper time to dry in between layers, because if you overwork it, you will either tear a hole in the paper eventually trying to lay color down, or you'll start wiping the values that you've already laid down off. Now, I know that you are a busy person and to take time out of the day to paint might be a sacrifice. And I know the idea of waiting for your painting to dry sounds absolutely dreadful. And on my YouTube channel, I offered suggestions of what to do while waiting for your painting to dry. And so I'm gonna do that for you guys here, just to welcome you to the page. Number one. Give your pet flamingo a bath. Number two, send a cake to someone who hates you. Number three, go rollerblading with your Nana. Now I know what you're thinking. My Nana has a knee replacement. This, my friends, means that you should have gone rollerblading with your Nana sooner while you were waiting on your last painting to dry. Now that your painting's dry, 
um, you can add in some details. And I go back and forth about the colors that I like to use for shadows. It depends on what I'm painting, but I've really been loving just a light wash of purple lately to add in my shadows, add some dimension. Once everything's dry, um, it really makes everything pop. So now I'm adding some darker values to the shadow areas that are cast. And depending on the painting, I won't do a sketch ahead of time. I will paint freehand. But in this particular painting, I wanted to capture the details and make sure everything had its place. So I went ahead and sketched it in lightly beforehand. Sometimes it's even good to make uh, markers on the page of where your shadows will fall. Um, this is something that I really like to do with portraits and even though you feel like you remember where a shadow will fall, sometimes on an object it falls strange and it's a good thing to remind yourself. There's no shame in a little help. I don't know if you guys have ever rented a room in a home whenever you're traveling before but it's actually really cool. I know it gets a bad rep, and obviously you wanna be careful and really read the reviews of where you're staying, but Airbnb reviews are pretty brutal. You can kind of read between the lines on some of them and figure out what works best for you, but all that aside, um, Kobe and I really enjoyed it. In fact, the majority of the other places that we stayed on our trip, we had a place to ourselves, we rented an apartment or some kind of loft, but our favorite place to stay was this house. And we had a little room, and obviously the price was right, but more than that, um, it's really cool to stay with a local, especially if you're thinking about going to Japan, because they're so helpful, and having someone in the house with you, they really wanna make sure that you know where you're going and where the cool spots are to check out. And I really, really recommend it. If you're nervous at all about staying, read the reviews, but yeah, just keep it in mind if you're planning a trip, especially to Japan. As you can see, I'm just going in with those final details, continuing in with a light wash of purple, um, making sure that all of my shadows are really drying to the right value. And I recently watched a Skillshare class that said if your watercolor looks like the right color whenever you put it on the page then it's too light so don't be afraid to be heavy-handed with the initial colors whenever you are laying down everything because watercolor tends to dry um, much lighter than the initial application <laughs> i remember at this point in the painting i was thinking i don't know if i should ink this or not i don't want to ruin it because I just really love the look. And nine times out of 10, whenever my art got to that point, I would scan it without the ink just to have it as a reference in case I absolutely hated the ink. But nine times out of 10, I do prefer it with the ink because I feel like that's just in my wheelhouse and I like the illustrative look. And if you're interested in developing your watercolor skills, I really recommend looking into other forms of medium to use along with it. It really enhances your art and it can give you a unique look and it really gives you some help. Whenever I paint something that is not turning out the way that I want, many times the lines I find make the painting look more interesting and I can honestly make it look uh, like I had initially planned on painting it, looking like a coffee cup lid. Make sure that you're having fun and that you're giving yourself permission along the way to make things that are not good because sometimes that's where our best creative ideas come from. Remember that there is no cloaked hidden force of watercolor art enthusiasts that judge every sketchbook and failed pony attempt. Yeah, I knew about that tutorial in 2015 and judging it as to whether it is good or bad and then breaking into your home and wreaking havoc into your lives. And let's be real, if that did exist, then that would be awesome. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for stopping by, hanging out with me for my first official 
Patreon video. Dun, 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 dun. I am not rich enough to hire someone to make me a theme song yet, so you're stuck with that. Dun, 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 dun. Please leave me a comment in the section below if you like this video and if you want to see more and what you want to see in the next video. Okay, bye!